back to the channel and today we're gonna be trying out Meguiar's hybrid ceramic wax on this almost 15 year old truck. What is 15, ain't it? 2004? Mm -hmm. So it's pretty easy to actually apply so we're gonna show you how to do it. All you gotta do is wet, wet down the truck, spray enough product on to spread it evenly pretty much and then wipe it off and then take a dry towel and just wipe off anything that might be left from your first wipe. Plus two, you're not going to want to do this in the direct sunlight. We have our sun out now. It's only like 50 out today. And uh, the paint's still cool to touch. Now, it's, you can barely, there's no heat on it. So it's perfect. So make sure if it's real hot out, you go in the shade. You make, or if you are doing it out and outside in a little bit of sun, make sure your paint's not hot. And we're just a little warm. It's perfect. We just got done washing the vehicle. Um, we applied Jet Seal on this about nine months ago. And you can still see, see the shine on it. I do got to do some paint correction. This, this truck's never been uh, polished for paint correction to get out any troll marks or scratches. So we, we're still going to have that on this. We, because the truck is old, we want to preserve the clear coat as much as we can to keep this truck looking good. It's a daily driver. And we just want to keep it clean. We're not looking for that showroom shine. You know, so. But this year I will do a, a polish on it to get some of those infections out and then we'll put a seal on it. So we'll get going and we'll try this stuff out. The jet seal pretty much, it, it wore out. You can see we don't have no uh, protection. But I pretty much don't, I go by the sheet a little bit. I kind of go by if the tire sticking to the car, uh, especially on the bottom panels and this truck is still staying clean. But uh, pretty much the, the sealant's it's it's due and i think what helps out too is we've been using we use good soap and that you can see that the we're not getting any tire and stuff sticking to the vehicle still all right we'll get going the sun came out but we're still good go ahead and squirt it down a little bit for me guess code of directions we spray it in and then basically dry it out let's see how it works first time using this stuff and it's not a ceramic cone remember that i mean i know everybody's you know mad because they're using that it's not a ceramic coating it's basically a spray to you can put it on top of your uh, sealant and stuff like that dang this spray's like heavy check that out you guys get a close up of that so yeah you don't have to use a lot of product I mean this spray is nice and they fill this thing up to the rim all right let me fluff it in and fluff it out let's try this stuff out using some uh, drying towels I'm gonna just go back and forth get it in and I think the purpose of this is just to get, try to get even coverage and with it being wet I think that helps it's gonna streak on you because we're gonna be buffing it back out so on this we are definitely gonna want to be using panel time I can already tell the difference a little bit I'm still I'm gonna buff it out I'm gonna flip it over and my towel's a little bit of wet so I might have to get a dry one working in there pretty good what do you think yeah it looks really good so far seems pretty smooth so seems like a good product from where we're at right now yeah from here it's shining up pretty decent i do the windows too let me work that in here so we can all see it's gonna it feels pretty smooth too yeah it is smooth all right you guys tell me what you think We'll have to do the whole vehicle and then we'll go over it. It's a little streaky right here. Just gotta work it in a little bit. Yeah. No new scratches. No. Alright. Let's continue to put this up, dude. Section at a time. And then when we're completely done, we'll do a water test, sheet test, to see what it looks like. We'll let it cure a little bit. Well, this stuff's pretty good. I mean, to me, this is perfect for, uh, you know, someone that just wants to keep the vehicle clean. They're not really worried about, you know, a big paint correction, the average Joe. I think this stuff is perfect. Wash it, spray it on here, you're going to get some protection. The way it seems like from the other videos, this stuff is lasting, you know, over a month, maybe longer. 
another thing is too, this is great after, this is basically the first application like this. You wipe it in, wipe it off. Next time we wash the truck, we're gonna be using this as a drying aid. Basically when the vehicle's still wet, we'll spray a little bit on there. And then you rinse off the, the truck or your vehicle and then you dry it, that's it. You're not gonna do this process again. This is just the first step. Look at the shine on that fender. Dang, that's pretty good. And now this is an old truck, never been polished before. If we wanted to do it on something with not, that's never been paint corrected, just basically only, we only put sealants and waxes on this car to keep it clean. That's pretty good. All right, I'll continue. Let me lift this up some more. And I'll continue to go. Spray it on if you didn't want to buff it in, and it just basically sprayed off. And I noticed too a lot of the videos, every a lot of the guys are using uh, pressure of power washing. But what if you don't have that? Just use your garden hose, you know, and then spray it in. They're saying that's supposed to help. The power wash to really get it, but you can do it with your garden hose just like that, or go to a coin car, coin car wash and do a use their pros, power wash. This would be a good product if you go there. All right, we'll continue to go. I figure bring that up. You can basically spray it on, rinse it off, and then dry it. But that's basically kind of how what we're, we're going to do for a drying aid: spray it on when it's wet, rinse it, and then dry it, and then you're getting another layer of of coat and basically wax, wax and spray and rinse. Right there. There's the directions. Well, we got it done. Look how shiny. We'll do a little walk around. I still got to put some dressing on the tires. To be a separate video on a different product. If you want to check that out, when it, that video comes out, that'd be cool. Check out the metallic in it. Shining pretty good. Now, granted, this truck is not perfect. The paint's not perfect. Remember that. It's an old truck, 15 years old. It's pretty good for a 15-year-old truck. If you really think about it. No deep scratches, just a couple. A couple paint chips. Scratch there. That's it. Well, if you guys want to do a beating test, and we'll see. Oh, yeah, bring up. Look at the chrome. Most vehicles don't have chrome today. Should do the wheels. Might do them when we're done. You do got to go over the vehicle. You might have to get some, a couple spots might smear a little bit. Look at that chrome. Looks pretty good without polishing it, you know. The chrome looks nice and clean. That's what I think. What do you guys think? You got anything you want to add? You want to do that water test? All right, guys, so we're about to do the water test, but I honestly think the product's really good. Seems to be a very good product. And uh, we're definitely going to be doing about like a month update. So we'll see how it lasts, but overall, it seems really good. Pretty smooth. It's really easy to apply, too, is something I like. Back the hood, we'll show the hood. Now, if you guys remember the beginning of the video, there was no nothing. There was no beating, no sheeting. Now look. I mean, we did not polish this vehicle. We didn't even clay bar it. This is something we did something that an average person is going to do at home. They're not might not do the clay bar and polish it. They're just going to wash and apply this product. Look at that. From the beginning of the video, no sheeting to, to sheeting and beating. That's great. That's a pretty good product. And this is really easy to apply. Also, that's so a big that's, game changer. That's something that's helpful. We did the windows. Man, that's so easy. I mean, actually, it's off camera. We probably got this truck done one. We were going I'd slow. say about 20 minutes. Yeah. We could, you could cut your time down, not video and stuff like that. So you're looking at 10, 15 minutes doing this spray. You know, after you wash it, that's you can't beat that. And look, we're out here in the sun. Granted, the paint's not, it's not hot. That's nice. 
Yeah, we'll definitely uh, have to do some videos updates on it. So I guess that's pretty much it for the videos. All right, guys, tell us one. what you guys think about this. If any of you guys have used this, tell us your experience with it. And anyone uh, curious about anything, ask any questions in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Dang, that's crazy. Left. Now, when we bought this, they, they're not being cheap, man. They're filling it up to here. That ain't bad. For a deal, you do use it. We probably got a one. Probably use less as a dry day, so, yeah, it's going to last a couple months. Definitely. Maybe more. It's pretty you good. can buy this anywhere, you know. Um... I seen it today at Myers for twelve ninety nine. They had it in stock, so Myers is starting to stock it. Um, O'Reilly's had it, so you can be you'll be able to pick this up local, and that's great if you don't want to order stuff. And uh, that's a great price, twelve ninety nine to get that. This results, man, I can't. It's crazy. I don't know why everybody's getting mad about this product. It works. It works. Who cares if it's not truly a ceramic coating? When you're, it works. We just proved it on this old truck. Not no BMW, Porsche, nothing like that. Poor man detailing. Look at the shine, guys. Look at that. That's crazy. From before. The sun's hitting it perfect. You can see the metallic and just shine it off a spray bottle. I wonder what it's going to look like tomorrow if it gets deeper. Maybe I'll take some footage of it tomorrow. Give you guys a little. It's been about uh, over 24 hours that McGregor's hybrid ceramic rack's been on F-150. Here, 2004. Now you're gonna see streaks, and that's from that uh, tire gel I put on here from Pearl Nano. It just dripped, and that's what you're seeing right here. It's just tire gel. It looks pretty good still. It shine. Yeah, we're gonna be doing some updated videos on this product. See how it's holding up. Look at the metallic, and uh, we'll see how it's sheeting and this and stuff like that. So, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe and like and comment so you can see the updated. And this Jeep today got uh, that Chemical Guys ceramic hybrid ceramic spray so it's on a jeep we'll be doing updates on that also it's looking good all right you guys have a good one thank you for watching later